Welcome, my name is Jason Huggins. This screencast will provide an introduction to RIA. We will start by defining RIA and what it is, look at the demand for RIA, and finally look at Uniface and RIA. RIA is part of an evolution of user interface technology. We started with punch cards, then with terminals and desktop PCs we had the Chewy applications and desktop applications. With the growth of the web came web browsers and web based applications. These were the first generations of internet based applications. We are now moving on to the next stage which are our rich internet applications. Rich internet applications address some of the shortfalls of first generation web applications and provide more of a desktop type interface. This includes things such as rich controls like trees, maps, etc. and gives you responsive screens. Some of the rear characteristics are as follows. If we start with the usability characteristics, we start with a modern user interface. This means it's browser based but with a desktop application look and feel. Given the power of a desktop application, it makes RIA applications much more intuitive and aesthetically pleasing. Being browser based or web based means that multi channel deployment becomes a reality. If we look at the technical characteristics, RIA applications are normally based around an asynchronous technology. The key technology you'll see in use with RIA applications of today is AJAX which stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. While looking at the evolution of applications towards RIA, we should start with the move from desktop to web applications. Desktop applications provided a feature-rich interface, for example, a large number of widgets to choose from. They do have a client installation footprint, which can be an overhead when installing the applications to a large site. A big advantage with this type of applications is that the objects and state persist for the whole session. Web applications have the advantage of no client footprint. Being page based however means you have a delay between actions. So when a user does something they send a request to the server and have to wait for the response. The web is based around stateless technologies so in this instance there is no object or state persistence. So how does RIA differ? A Web 1.0 interface is based around full page requests, also sometimes referred to as PIA, as in Paged Internet Application. This is based around batch processing and this will lead to delays between the actions. With an AJAX based application you have specific requests, so rather than sending the whole page you just send an action asking for a particular piece of information or sending a piece of information. It is event driven and allows you to write inline logic. Because it is asynchronous, the responses can be combined with the power of JavaScript and cascading style sheets to do dynamic page updates. This means that you are no longer having to submit the whole page and wait for a page to come back. This yields a much more usable application. The demand for RIA falls into three main categories. These are the end users, the business consumers and the software suppliers. End users are now demanding more of their applications. Technical users have always wanted more. Non-technical users are now experienced users. They want things like rich media technologies. Users also now need applications that can travel with them. So by that we're talking about cross-platform applications, i.e. applications that can run on mobile devices, for example PDAs and mobile phones. They want on-demand computing, i.e. anywhere, anytime, any place access to things like their email or their business applications. The business consumer of the application also wants RIA for a number of reasons. The first of these is the reduced upfront costs. 
the dependencies on hardware and support are now reduced because the application is an internet application. Being a rich internet application as opposed to a standard web 1.0 application means that the interface can be consistent across a browser or a desktop application. This can yield benefits such as minimal retraining and increased user engagement because they feel more comfortable with the rear application. Rollout of the application becomes more simple because there is no client installation footprint. Deployment is centralised and if there's any updates or upgrades to the application, again, this is easy. Security of the application is also improved. The application itself will have less access to the client system and the application is also protected from the client system. The benefits RIA brings to the software provider are as follows. It increases their competitiveness. More and more companies are demanding RIA solutions. It allows a software provider to deliver their software as software as a service. It opens new global market opportunities because their software is now delivered over the internet. RIA also opens up opportunities for flexible pricing models such as pay per click. The security of the application is also increased because the application is protected from the client system. If a virus outbreak occurs on the client system, the underlying application should be protected. Deployment is simplified and release cycles can be shorter. The Uniface RIA release simplifies Web 2.0 development. The RIA constructs are completely managed by Uniface. It uses an integrated WYSIWYG editor which is standards compliant using XHTML and CSS. The RIA release continues to leverage the full power of Uniface, integrating with a full APS, using model driven development, remaining platform independent and allowing multi-channel deployment and much more. To summarise, RIA allows desktop sophistication in a web browser. It has come about because application consumers demand more. RIA is the next generation of UI and Uniface fully supports it. Thank you.